Hi Aries, welcome to your uh, February 2020. Uh, <clears throat> Hi Aries, welcome to your February 2021 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note about my tarot readings. They are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you are a sun, moon or rising sun, Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three of them to give you a, co a clearer, sort of more complete picture of how they speak to you. And more importantly, which part of you, myself as a tarot reader, resonates with. All right, with that said, if you are passing through or a continued subby, you know I love you for it. Um, and uh, yeah, please don't forget to like, share and hit the subscribe button. So I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this month for your actions and interactions with the world at large, you get... The Knight of Swords, right? So this month is kind of like Aries is like, yeah, you know what? Let's just get in there and do the Aries thing and be all guns blazing. Now, remember with the Knight of Swords, one of the things that you are often urged to do is to think about what you're doing and ask yourself if you're being too hasty. Now, remember your actions and interactions with the world at large. This is all about the energy that you put out into the world. It looks like you're trying to maybe, oh, not overstep the mark, but maybe, maybe you're trying to speed things up where they don't need to be sped up. This would be a month where you're probably being urged to take some time about something. Now, when it comes to communications in general, when it comes to the information that you're sharing or the information that you're looking for, um, this month is going to be very easy to overlook some of the details. It's going to be very easy for that miscommunication energy to kind of wreak havoc. And why is that? We've got the Mercury retrograde taking place in the sign of Aquarius. So just be aware of that this month. Like it, it kind of feels like you're going to want to push ahead with something, but the information that you've got isn't quite complete. So, uh, you, you know, you um, it's like one of those things where they say you wouldn't set out on a journey without all of the things that you need. This could be a month where you might be trying to push something ahead uh, faster than is possible. And more importantly, without some vital piece of either information or some vital piece of knowledge that you need um, that you don't have. Now, the other way that this could work for you on a very practical level, uh, it looks like a lot of you are starting to think and uh, think and feel about uh, new jobs, new work, like new professional endeavours, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, it, in fact, it's actually a really good thing, uh, especially if you feel like you, your race is run where you are. But the thing that I will say to you, that grass is greener energy is going to be prevalent this entire year. So it's really important that you ask yourself, are you jumping out of the frying pan into the fire? And that's going to start for you guys this month. So just be aware of that. For your money and materials, your money looks good. Your finances look good. And what I like about this, because look, it's right next to the Knight of Swords. This suggests to me that this month you are going to be aggressively looking at your finances. This is going to maybe, maybe you're looking for new work. Maybe you're looking for a new way to make money. Maybe you are looking at uh, your debts and your bills and your loans. And if that is the case, this month it looks like you can make a really good dent in those things. You know, maybe not necessarily even just paying them off, but this might be something, you know, by way of consolidation. This could be uh, maybe you seeking advice, maybe like a financial advisor or an accountant, something like that. This month there is, you know, the, the energy for your finances is very, good this month Aries it really is going to be how you use that right so if if it is like you know like I said if it's all about debts for you this month the best way for you to get ahead uh, you know or the best way to meet your you know that energy is by really looking to narrow it down so it's kind of like you know getting all the ducks in a row when it comes to the finances um, when it comes to uh, your materials, like when it comes to your home life, this could see you working on the home or doing something physical to the home. It looks like a lot of you are either redecorating or you are... Um what I, you know, when we say like making the home more comfortable, more pleasant in some way, shape or form. For those of you that own your homes, it looks like this month you're going to spend time doing things that will increase the value 
of the property, which is nice, right? It's great. For your communications and conversations, you have the King of Swords. So a lot of you are very focused on the career this month. A lot of you are really focused on the work, maybe getting yourselves out there. For a select few of you, it looks like you're starting to build what we would call like a marketing campaign, or you're pushing yourself forward in some way, shape or form. What I like about this, it suggests you pushing yourself forward in some way that's gonna get you seen. Um, but not like from the, the point of like, oh, you know, look at me. It's not it's not about, like you know, being seen in that regard. It's about being visible for the skills and the knowledge or the, you know, the information that you bring. Um, I actually really like this. Now, uh, you know, you, you've got a lot of air energy here actually as well, interestingly enough. Remember, we do have that Mercury retrograde come up this month. It looks like if you are doing anything to do with the finances in regard to the home specifically, i.e. mortgage application, uh, you know, applying for bank loans, all of that kind of stuff. If that is something that you're working on over the course of this month, my advice to you would be to get a second opinion and not just like a friend or a family member, but like a professional second opinion. Um, you know, be open to whoever the experts are this month because that's how you're truly going to get ahead for your um, heart, home and heart and hearth should I say you have the judgment card so for some of you this could be an air sign person maybe coming back into the fold this could be a blast from the past uh, Aquarius Gemini or Libra definitely a possibility this could also suggest as well that when it comes to the family when it comes to the family unit i.e you know, parents, grandparents, cousins, aunts, all the rest of it. It looks like there's some sort of interaction going on there uh, with what I would consider an either an elderly person uh, or, and this might be somebody that needs your help. It might be somebody that you maybe have to go out of your way to support in some regard. Um, it just looks like there's gonna be a lot of that energy floating about. Now, for those of you that are single, um, I mean, even, even for, for some of you that aren't single, it, there is definitely like a blast from the past kind of energy here, which I'm finding very interesting. Um, but specifically for those of you that are married as well, this is going to see you guys really focused on all of the practicalities of life this month. There's not really a lot of energy for you to focus on, um, you know, what we would call like the 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 love and the lusty and the, all of that kind of stuff. It's a bit more, you know, business rather than, uh, you know, pleasure this month. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because once you've dealt with all of that, then you can get to the good times. And not only that, you're gearing up to come into your birthday season, right? So uh, for your first week of the month, you have the High Priestess. Um, now, I did caution and urge you not to make any sort of rash or hasty decisions over the course of the month. But in the first week of February, it looks like you have an intuition or an intuitive hit that is kind of nudging at you. And if that is the case, and you think, you know what, Raph, this time you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. I feel like I'm meant to do this. I'm talking about those strong, psychic, visceral gut reactions to things. Um, this, this month, especially this week, if you get something of that nature, then this is up to you. You have to go for it, right? Listen to your intuition. But equally, if you know in your gut or your intuition that something probably isn't the best move right now, and you know that you can wait, trust your intuition. The other thing that I want to say to you as well, it looks like a lot of you are receiving some form of paperwork this month, um, probably over the course of this first week, that is going to make, uh, it's going to really see you looking to change direction in some regard. So this is, uh, you know, it could be, um, I think it's going to be a letter. I don't think it will be an email. I think this is going to be an actual piece of mail that kind of, when it comes, it's going to make you go, right, okay, I think I need to change direction here. For your second week of the month, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful, especially when coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, for those of you that are thinking about buying mobile homes uh, or investing in any sort of holiday home, etc., this is a really great month to do the legwork to find out what the facts and figures say. Um, this is actually a really great energy for that. It really is. The second week as well, it basically bolsters up that message for your finance. This could be a great month for you really getting 
your ducks in a row. Don't be scared to put things on paper. You know, the more you know, or the more clearer things are, the better you can do with them. So this would be a great month to look at all of your expenses, all of your bills, all of your debts, if you have any, if you don't have any, this would be a great month to figure out how you're gonna maximize on the money or the returns that you already have or that you're gaining. And then for your third week of the month, you have the Justice card. So whoever this person is um, that you may be reconnecting with, they are very likely to be a Libran. Why do I say that? Justice card represents the sign of Libra coupled with a court card that's usually a person so whoever this person come back into the fold this month is very likely to be that they're reaching out to you here in the third week uh, and you may actually be hearing from them in person by the fourth week um, so yeah really interesting also um, there are lots of paperwork there's a lot of official documents and stuff that seem to be going around over the course of this month for you guys and I just don't want you to make any hasty decisions this is why I say to if there's anything of a legal nature or a financial nature something that in regards to buying or you know assessing any kind of property you want that second opinion and even if it's like an extra expense pay the money because at least if you have that professional say so you've got something to say well you know this was the advice that i had um and then for your fourth week you have the moon card coupled with the judgment card right so for all of you aries there is definitely a blast from the past coming up now for some of you i kind of feel like this might be a relationship that ended maybe on a sour note or maybe you were always wondering you know what really went wrong with us or you know was there anything else sort of ever involved or you know anyone else ever involved in the way that things kind of devolved for us i think this month you're going to have some sort of answer to a relationship that ended previously and it might reveal something to you either about yourself or your relationship style it may even highlight to you as well what you um where it is that you maybe you're getting in your own way because of some of your long-held beliefs around relationships um, for those of you that are already in a relationship or uh, marriage partnership etc it looks like you may be having to deal with the in-laws this month and it might be because you're being asked to do something um, that maybe you hadn't considered you were going to have to do you know like eventually I mean it used to be anyway that you know when um yeah, uh, you know, when the parents got old, they would move in with their children, you know, until their kind of days were, you know, were done. That tends not to happen nowadays. And I actually think in a lot of ways, we've lost something from the family dynamic in that regard. Um, but this could be something where, you, you know, you're, you and your partner are starting to think about what those longer term plans for the parents as they age actually are. So your key to the month is the eight of wands. I mean, it makes total sense. This is going to be a very heavy communicative month for you. I'm talking emails, text messages, phone calls. This is gonna be you literally, you know, phone up to the shoulder with the ear, you know, while you're writing something down, it's gonna be a, bit, a very busy month for communication this month. And given the fact that it is a Mercury retrograde, you just wanna be really aware that that energy is is kind of you know it's it's lingering around right you now that you know that you can kind of be um not alert but you can you know now that you know that and you know there's going to be a, a heavy sort of stream of information going back and forth make preparations for it but like i said there's going to be a letter that comes through the door this month that will make all the difference i really feel like that letter is going to change either your outlook or maybe even your path in some regard um, and i'm really really intrigued to see what it might be for those of you so uh, if you feel like sharing please do let me know in the comments how it speaks to you i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff stuff. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.